Welcome to another practice stroke. And today we're going to do um, a daffodil. And um, we call it a dandelion or a daffodil. <laughs> it's a daffodil. I sometimes say it wrong. So I want you to see that we, if I say that during the painting, just realize it's me. All right. I'm using floating medium. This is really a good flower to teach you, and I'm excited to share that with you. What do you mean? I'm so fluff that's inside the paint with no pigment in it. I'm using a 16-inch flat brush, and I want to paint a really pretty um, flower here for you. And I can use a touch of medium gray, just a touch. All right. And so I'm going to use wicker white, moon yellow medium gray, and some classic green, and show you how pretty this can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this and that little bit of the medium gray and pick up worker white, and I want to keep loading that in the brush, a little bit of medium, a little bit of medium gray, and just to get some tones in there, all right? Now, what I want you to see is I'm going to go up to the point and then come back down, all right? I want to make it a little bit bigger and the gray shading there, even though you probably can't tell it because it's on the black, okay? Paper, so this is black art paper. And we're going to come back and see that shading in there? It's kind of important, even though it's just a touch. See how I come over here and load the petals each stroke. Okay, so go to a point. Oh my goodness. Just ignore that, okay? Go to a point. As well, paper, you have to ignore it. All right, so we're going to do about six petals. Go to the point. And come back down. All right. One, two, three. I'm going to get some more, a medium gray, floating medium, and have plenty of paint on there. See? And then one more. Okay. Now, if you saw, I went down and put. I, I uh, did the pressure where I'm wiggling up and wiggling back down. So let me show you here one more time. I'm going to lay this brush on the side, get a point, reverse the bristles, push down, push down, and stand up. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to wipe this brush. And I want white on the edge, but I want moon yellow in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to dip the white. I want to get a teeny bit of medium. See, I barely dipped it in the medium. All right, let's. I'm going to take that yellow all the way to the tip so you see it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little strokes here. All right, so the flower center is going to be facing me. Okay. Now I'm going to put another layer here. See how pretty that layer is? All right, so now what has to happen is I'm going to make a cup here. So I've got the, the moon yellow for the staffodil. All right, and there's the center. Now, I'm hoping you guys can see this um, because right here, this is giving you some really pretty, really pretty yellow. All right, so I'm gonna take this and go right over here to the classic green. All right. And I'm going to come right around here and try to cover my finger mark. <laughs> okay. And so I'm going to hopefully 
that they this is going to be facing this way. Okay, and then we can even come in here and come right up here and do another little. Bud that I'm going to put there. So look, I'm going to push. And these are the stems or the leaves for this flower. Okay, so I get medium because I need this to go a long ways. All right, so look, I chisel, pressure, chisel, stand up. All right, and you have to have the medium because that makes it go really smooth like butter. So I can pick up yellow, green, some white, and I can come right up here. Okay. Now I'm going to wash this, yeah, or actually I can pick up a 12. And I'm going to pick up the moon yellow and some white. All right. So what's going to happen? is I can come right in here. This is a cup. All right? And this white comes a little bit in front. All right, actually, let's take it this way. I like showing you all these little light touches, All right? So then I can bring another one here. So the cup is looking like it's facing me this way, okay? So right here, we're going to scoop down and back up. And I'm gonna come right in here, all right? We'll put some moon yellow in here, pretty strong. All right. There. That's before it gets open. And then with some white and green. Classic green, work your white. We're going to come around. And we're going to bring this down. See, I can bring it right in front. Okay, so now all I have to do, oh, look at this, you can see. All I'm going to do is take the corner of, of this 12 and I'm going to tap in here. Okay, I put a little bit, a little bit of yellow in the middle and a teeny bit of white. There you go. Isn't that fun? So just layering the back petals and the front petals in front, and that's how you make a daffodil flower. Thank you for being on with me. And I hope this is helping you with your one stroke journey. And the more you paint, the better you get. And I want you to see that um, you can go around at any time and add extra uh, white along here to get more, like if you don't have a perfect tip and you want to. You just go through and get thick paint with a two script liner. And look at all this detail to get this right in there. So thank you guys. Please share your paintings. I love to see them. All right. So we're going to um, blow dry this just for a second. And where you would put the detail with a flat brush, and hopefully it's dry enough under here, floating medium, we're going to get a teeny bit of classic green. See this? Just a touch. 
that's too much. So I back off of that and I'm gonna come right in here. And then you can get the depth under here and see if you blow dry this good. And if it doesn't turn out like you like it, you can just wipe it right off. So there you go. See, I've got a little bit of depth there. Okay. And there you go. All right. Show us what you do, okay? Please subscribe. We'd love to hear from you.